What is your biggest turn-off about the other sex? Not gender-specific. When people make assumptions and jump to conclusions based on stereotypes about genders, or just any stereotypes in general. Just because X amount of women don't directly communicate, it doesn't mean all will not. Just because X amount of men only pursue a friendship with women for the sake of sex, not all men will do that. Sure, people can be shitty and do annoying or shitty things, but nothing applies to genders as a whole. You will always find exceptions to supposedly true stereotypes. Self-appointed princesses, queens, or goddesses. If your ego can fill a kingdom or an intangible plane of existence, you don't have room for anyone else. And treating your partner like a butler. I already have a job, I don't want another one especially if I lose money to be there. Expressing emotions and being told they're wrong and then being told how I really felt and then being told that I should communicate more. Being relegated to a bit part in their life but still demanding I pay for most things. I mean I think it's best to just to not get in a relationship just F. I don't ever want to be living with one of your women. I don't want kids. And I ain't paying all your damn bills. You have to work for that. We're not going to be talking about drapes colors and what the kitchen's like and other stuff I'm going to have my house and you can have your place and if you like me then you're going to stay in the relationship if you don't then you can move on cause I'm going to stay the way I am. How so many men don't know how to properly clean themselves. I see so many posts about how guys didn't realize that having skid marks in their boxers isn't okay. I see so many posts about how guys don't actually wash their ass with soap and just let the water run down. So many times I've heard, wait, you're supposed to wash your legs and feet in the shower? Mothers and fathers have failed to teach their boys how to clean themselves, so they grow up being dirty men. It's gross. Everything is hypersexualized. Nice smile oh you wanna fuck? These lips will feel so good on you those are nice hands here's a pic of them holding my dick men think in hypersexual terms, and it's just too over the top and not sexy emo. A bit of mystery is so seductive. Most men I know don't have the nuance to grasp the concept of less is more. So jealous of my besties guy cause he spends his time watching porn made for women, and she's reaping big benefits lol. When they've consumed too much crap and convince themselves that women are stereotypes so it's impossible to communicate with them because they hear everything you say through some bizarre socially pseudoscientific filter and get a completely different message. You can speak clearly and bluntly and say I need X to happen because Y and they'll be like IDK what this cryptic alien is saying to me use your ears you reprobate. The illusion of choice. While most men might sleep with you, very few would marry you and introduce you to their mom. That distinction is lost on a lot of folks. In my own sex? Self-pity and blaming women for them not being attractive, when they put on zero effort to be appealing to women and expect women to take them as they are. This combination makes for extremely toxic gender relations. When they won't take drugs with me like if I got hella perks and you won't pop on with me like you ain't it. Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face. Cause that's what you call an effing joke okay it's a fully a joke but I know someone's still going to take this serious it's a joke. I personally think you shouldn't be trying to change anybody or influence them in a relationship except for who they are or find somebody else. Too skinny or too fat, if they can't find a happy medium forget it. It is actually more complex than that though but that is a good part of it. Laziness is another. The lack of interest in needing to get in better shape for their own good might be the biggest. I like a woman who likes to sweat. Come home with soaking wet clothes, it really shows commitment and that is such a turn on. Women who purposely and intentionally go out of their way to do everything that's traditionally masculine, in an effort to be in your face I can do this now. Example women who lift weights, women with tattoos. Women who drive big trucks or modified sports cars. I don't have a problem with it, it's just extremely unattractive. Edit women who say bro and women gamers, crying face. A specific type of hypocrisy. Women will harshly chastise men for things they themselves do regularly. Not just that they will let men they're attracted to practically get away with murder I don't mean if they're in a relationship that's different. Then will treat a guy they aren't attracted to like a monster for doing the same exact thing in the same context. The sense I often have of falling short of women's expectations in some crucial way. Sometimes I know exactly what's wrong with me. More often, I'm stuck having to guess which among my hundreds of shortcomings was the decisive one. With that kind of globalized performance anxiety, there's fat fucking chance of my relaxing enough to experience real attraction. As a straight dude, here's one I've not seen anywhere else. It's probably just me. But fuck up double chin is a turn off for me, I'm weirdly particular about necks, 
and if you have a short neck or a double chin I just can't find you sexy. I'ma be kissing all around the neck so I need to be into that shape and feel. Anyway, I'm absolutely not a vampire. Men who have slept with a fuck ton of women and are proud of themselves, but have the audacity to call a woman a slut for doing the same thing with men that are not him. From my own gender, women who say all men are this or that. No, ladies, not all men are like that. You're just a bad judge of character and choose shitty men. Nothing makes me less interested in women romantically or otherwise than when you have a problem about literal anything and there is a reasonable and often easy solution. But you don't want solutions, you just want someone to listen to your problems and agree with you that they are insurmountable and Stacy is a bitch. For me personally, my biggest turn off is women who sexualize themselves publicly for every reason under the sun other than actually having sex. Then act like victims when they get said attention. When a woman sexualizes herself publicly, she immediately kills about 80 of what I find attractive. The French have a saying in every relationship, there is one who kisses and one who offers a cheek. It sucks that in every pair, one is reaching to offer and one is deciding whether or not to accept. That dichotomy is more than just a sexual turn-off it's an exhausting existence. Lame, boring personality with no personal interests or activities. So many girls back in my dating days substituted liking something for having a hobby. Nah girl, you gotta do something. Doesn't matter if I'm interested in your hobbies or not but you need to have something for yourself. Future faking, love bombing and breadcrumbing. AKA lying about how much you love me to presumably get in my pants? Or for the emotional attention I give you in return? When you figure it out, it's a complete turn off, and I'm so embarrassed I fell for it for as long as I did. When men try way too hard to convince you that they're great in bed, but they end up sounding like a total dumbass. For example, I had a guy confidently use the phrase tongue tornado in an honest attempt to turn me on. That's not sexy, you sound like a Pokemon trainer. Generally the lying? Not a big fan of it but I get it. If a date goes badly for me typically it's just a wasted night. If a date goes bad for you they're going to find you in parts on the side of the freeway. I get it, but still, I can't trust a single thing you say. Testing me. I once dated this girl who constantly put herself in between my family friends and I everything was a test of loyalty and devotion to her. One day years after I should have, I decided fuck this noise and made my last choice when it comes to her. The female gangster I dated once she was a daddy's girl no one could discipline her she got arrested drug trafficking and it surprised me one day. She wasn't even into drugs didn't even come from the hood upper middle class she just wanted street credit. I'm a gay woman so I'm going to be coming in hot here the whole propensity for violence and entitlement to women that can turn real ugly because fragile ego. Not all men but very few women I don't know how to do that without reddit formatting it weird. Body odor. In my opinion, if you stink, especially in the armpits, it means you don't take care of yourself and it is a pretty simple task like showering and using deodorants. If you can't take care of your pits, what does that say about your genitals? I saw mean girls the other day and it really reminded me how bitchy people are a turn off, not necessarily women. I love a dummy mommy as much as the next redditor but holy fuck Teresa the difference between being dominant and being a controlling bitch. Honestly it's a lack of or reluctance towards direct communication. I am willing to do and give so much but I really need it spelled out for me in a respectful but direct way, and I need to be able to give the same without it turning into a fight. Entitlement. I like to pamper, do favors, and help my girlfriend when I can. It can often turn into entitlement and resentment if I stop doing certain things. like. Sorry I'm not massaging your back and singing you to sleep every single night. The extensiveness of getting ready. Yes? I understand it's mostly so they feel sexy to themselves. But I, I'm weak to the fresh out of bed oh natural look. Show me who I'm waking up next to, not who spent 3 hours trying to get ready look. Makeup. I don't care what anyone says makeup makes someone go from a 10 to a 1 instantly and that's a fact it doesn't make people look better in the slightest especially lipstick of any color it's so unnatural it genuinely makes me recoil. When a girl has no friends that are girls, they're the girl that just get along with men way better or they can stand other women, even worse, when these types of girls also tell you that you cannot be friends with other girls. Maybe the other sex never felt the feeling of being the last alive in Counter Strike and still managed to win the round. Or even better the match and your teammates telling you how amazing you are and sometimes being offered a BJ. The way a lot of men of casual bigotry just ingrained into their everyday lives. Making offhand homophobic sexist jokes, casually flirting with cat calling out right harassing women in the workplace, to name some examples. Smoking. My wife and I have an agreement. 
The moment either one of us starts smoking, the other can file for divorce and gets 100 of everything. It's so fucking gross. Plus, you know, the whole long game suicide thing. Astrology and spirituality when equivalently loose weave. I get soul searching, gotta do plenty of that myself before I'll be able to die content, but I don't understand the willful denial of being rational. Kinda sad for me, cause it limits my potential partners a lot, but I don't find big vaginal lips sexy at all. Also, there's absolutely nothing wrong with them, they're just not for me. Also, hygiene OFC. When they show me genuine, unconditional affection. I want to be constantly feeling like I'm not good enough and that I need to be proving myself to be worth affection like how I was raised, damn it. Expectations. PPL are still talking like 1900 stereotypes of what a good wife husband is. I don't want to date someone if they are gonna try and pigeonhole me to fill some role that I don't want to. When a strong lack of accountability or work ethic is a huge turn off for me. You'll never work out any kind of problem with people who don't know to accept responsibility and own their shit. Girls play way too many games and drop too many unnoticeable hints and have most of the power in a relationship yet but and moan and complain about it the most like TF do you all want? I am bi, and I have dated men and women. I guess my biggest turn off towards women is how hard they are to keep happy. With men it's like happy birthday, wanna get some chicken nuggets. Mind games. When women try to make me jealous or sulk and get annoyed just to make me pay more attention to them. It's exhausting and I've never stayed in those relationships very long.